And also, if you're a Rays fan, good time to be listening because our very own Rays manager, Kevin Cash, joining me right now. Kevin, how are you? I'm great. Glad to be here. Big baseball fan, a fellow gearhead just like me. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, t- let me ask you a couple of different questions, uh, Kevin, because, you know, we don't get to talk to talk to you, you know, very often. Um, you are actually from the Tampa area. I don't know if a lot of people know that. And actually, uh, an alum of my daughter's high school, Gaither. Yep. Go Cowboys. Yep. Go Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> great to be back in the area. Uh, I've lived here our entire life, my entire life, my wife and I, and then moved off to Cleveland for two years, but mm-hmm. uh, really excited to be back in the community. Tell me, um, you actually have experience here at All Children's with your oldest daughter, Camden. Tell me uh, tell me about that. We do. Uh, we did. Uh, we had uh, Camden was born with uh, some, some heart defects um, and spent some time in the NICU mm-hmm. uh, right when she was born. Was and that in the new hospital or the, it old, was the old hospital? The old hospital. This okay. was, uh, you know, the groundwork was being laid, so it was being built. So, I mean, this facility facility they have now is just beautiful oh, it is. um but it, it, you know the facility is great but the people that that work are even better and and uh we experienced a lot of good things and uh, you know some traumatic times of course but we were uh very very fortunate to have the people at all children's to help us and uh support and kind of lead the way with camden and her eventual heart surgery and, mm-hmm. and now we uh, we have a very healthy nine-year-old that runs nice. around and does everything so we've, we've got a very good story to tell so she's good She's great. That's she's awesome. Great. What uh, they, the, so the doctors, the nurses that uh, that help take care of Camden. I'm sure she came back quite a few times. Did you get to see the? Did you see the same the same ones over and over again, or did you have several different doctors and nurses? Or well, we had several different nurses and doctors, but uh, you know it was funny. We were here over Thanksgiving, and a lot of the same doctors and yeah. surgeons are still here. Yeah. Um, so you know the reputation is great. All Children's brings in families from all over the state, and sometimes all over the country. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, it's a very special place, and and we were happy to you know to to come back and and be a part of it again. Why is it important for you, your family, and the Rays organization to give back and help support All Children's Hospital? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is uh, it was probably the most traumatic time of our lives. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and and I don't think you can ever have a full appre- appreciation for what a specific parent is going through or a specific child, but we can share a little bit of ours, and if that helps in any way, then then you know g- good for them. Them. And uh, the holiday time is not the ideal. You don't want to be uh, no. in a hospital during Thanksgiving, but uh, or some, Christmas or Christmas or any time for that fact. But especially those two times. Exactly. And uh, if, if if we can come in and help, and uh, just watching my two oldest daughters walk around during the Thanksgiving event was pretty special, and nice. they really enjoyed it, and uh, got to talk with a you know a lot of special families. Excellent. That's such good news. Kevin Cash, manager of the Rays, uh, joining us. Another really important question. Why do you think catchers seem to make really good managers? I get asked that all the time. I, <laughs> I have no idea. You know, the, the best answer I can give is, uh, you know, from that position, you, you, you watch the game from uh, a different view. Everybody else is looking at you, whereas you're looking at everybody else. And then there's a communication factor that you have to have with pitchers. Uh, you know, the catcher's job is probably more important to take care of the pitcher on that given day yeah. uh, than it is for, for his own personal numbers or stats so uh and that's such a big thing with managing and 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 connecting with people is being able to communicate tell me about the the respect that you have for joe madden and the uh the coaching staff that you inherited here in uh, tampa so fortunate for those guys uh you know coming in i i had some you know relationships with a couple of them but uh having a veteran guy like tom foley as a bench coach was huge he's been here since the race basically started uh, and, you know, I always say this, Joe Madden and Andrew Friedman, when they left, uh, it was a unique uh, situation because generally when a new general manager, a new manager come in, it's probably not the best uh, dynamic, best culture, but they left on great terms and yeah. the culture that we kind of inherited as a group here as a staff uh, was second to none. So we're very appreciative of the groundwork that they laid. Tell me um, how the influence, how ter- uh, Terry Francona uh, influenced your career. Well, he's a special person. Uh, not off the field, on the field. Uh, I got to play for for Terry, uh, and then coach underneath him with the Indians, mm-hmm. and and you just watch how he interacts with with uh, his players, his front office, his the fans. Uh, he just does everything right, and he's so positive. Uh, you you get to sit back and watch that perspective and learn, and and uh, not that you'll ever be Joe Madden or Terry Francona, but mm-hmm. but what great people to to watch and learn from. I would imagine that you know. 
know, I know that the uh, the Bucks. You know, Mike Allstott was here earlier this morning. He's always one of our one of our first, if not our first guest, uh, every year when we do this, and and does a fantastic job. Uh, so I know the Bucks have a great relationship with all children's, as does the Lightning. Um, but I would imagine that the Rays, you know, even though there's you might be moving somewhere else in the, in the area, I would imagine being so close uh, to all children's that the Rays has a little bit more close knit relationship with uh with all children's and well maybe I, some of the other. I i can't speak for the other i know i know that this uh all of the sports really value all children's hospital here mm-hmm. in the bay area and it's pretty special when you hear uh some of our players that go visit throughout the season i mean we get to the ballpark at at uh you know for a seven o'clock game we get there around two o'clock and when you hear that uh some of our players woke up that morning and go and visit and and, and yeah. say hello it's pretty special and it, i think it, it you know it speaks volumes about the type of character we have in our club House. They don't have to do that either. No, they don't, and they do that out of the goodness of their hearts, and and they understand, you know, the smiles that they can put on some of these young kids' faces with a with a Chris Archer walking in, or a or an Evan Longoria, or or you know, any, faces, any of our guys. The faces the face. of the, really of the organization, yeah, that's awesome. Exactly. And you, and I'm assuming that you encourage that to for all the guys to do it. I mean, you don't make them do it; they do it on their own own accord. But uh, you encourage them to get out, do stuff with the community, especially right here at All Children. Very much so, and and we've got a great support staff with within the rays that help set a lot of stuff up for us but then you have some special uh cases like like chris archer going and visiting and 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 nobody even knows about it sometimes nobody even needs to know about it because all you're trying to do is kind of impact that that specific child you're going to visit that's really really cool kevin cash from uh the uh the tampa bay rays uh, manager What's uh what's the the rumblings going on with the organization right now? Anybody moving out, coming in? What's the season going to look like? Well, uh, we, we we've got the winter meeting starting up next week. Okay, uh, good. Generally, that's when everything really gets going. Uh, you get through Thanksgiving holiday and then it picks up. We just acquired late last night a, a catcher in Hayton Conger uh, that's going to you know definitely add to a switch hitting catcher, uh, and he's you know substantial time in the big leagues. We're excited to have him. We made a big trade right at the uh, end of the uh, end of the season or early off season where we acquired. Uh, Logan Morrison and Brad Miller from the Mariners. Nice. Uh, so, you know, our, our guys work constantly to, to make us better, and they're continuing to do that. And, the, you know, it, sometimes it takes a little while throughout the offseason to, to really get going, but the winter meetings will jumpstart that. What is some of the uh, – and this is completely off subject, but what if, so, what if some of the uh, – have you talked to any other, other guys in the clubhouse uh, that were with the Rays uh, when David Price was with the Rays about his big deal that he just signed? Uh, I have not uh, spoke with anybody since he signed. I think he did that two days ago. Yeah. But I can tell you the the imprint and the handprint that David Price left in this organization, especially on our pitching staff. Uh, I mean, you hear stories about him daily, and and it, it, obviously a special special pitcher, a uh, very special teammate person, and and that how that's kind of evolved with our own guys that we have now. Uh, a lot of things that we do was because David Price uh, did them and took part in them, and and uh, we we're very thankful thankful for that having never met him but only seeing him on television some other things that he's you know done around the community he seemed like a very very good genuine guy uh, I, I would agree and I've talked to him a handful of times and you can tell the energy that he he brings in I mean when we played him uh, against Detroit and then even late in the year when he was traded to Toronto <laughs> you know I, I'm showing up at the clubhouse uh, around lunch noon and and he's in there visiting with all of the guys you know his his family that he you know called family for uh, six years prior to that so Kevin Kiermaier got a gold glove KK got a gold glove, a platinum platinum glove. He got every kind of glove imaginable. <laughs> uh, they, they were making up defensive awards for him this year. That's but, awesome. Um, that guy is player. unbelievable. He is human highlight reel. And uh, tell me that he's going to be with us next year. He will be with us next year. That's all. Okay, that's that's fantastic <laughs> news because I think I, you know. The, the 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 my wife and and both of my girls would be just like oh he's not playing with them anymore huh, what else is on hey let me tell you, so with my wife <laughs> so now we know why Kevin Kiermaier is coming back so Kevin can stay <laughs> married Kevin Cash Rays manager man thank you so much for taking the time to come by and uh, saying hello to us is there anything else you want to add about all children's before you take off or no, not really. Thank you for having us, and we look forward to coming back over the the, the Christmas holiday and doing the the, the Winterland, and that's going to be an exciting time. I know Christmas at our house is very special, and uh, you know we look forward to, to helping these some of these children in here get some gifts and and, and uh, just spending some time. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, another awesome baseball season. 
It's going to be killer. And right now, the 800-270-8642 number. Get on that. Uh, looking for our monthly Miracle Makers, a four-pack of tickets to see the Rays play. Uh, field passes for batting practice and an autographed baseball up for grabs. The Walmart and Sam's Club people are ready to answer the phone. So make them ring. 800-270-8642. 800-270-8642. Kevin, thank you so much for taking the time. We'll be back in a few minutes right here on US 103.5 Radiothon.